Hi everyone, today we are talking about friendships with the people in our community. I'd like to begin with a Bible passage from Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23 to 25. It says this, Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Verse 25, it talks about not wanting to uh, give up on meeting together as some are in the habit of doing. Um, with this wintry weather, we can be tempted to stay in our warm, cosy duvets. However, we are reminded to encourage one another and sharing about Jesus as the God of a new and living hope. Over the past year, I have tried to continue to meet with people in my community so that I can keep blessing them during this time. I allow the Holy Spirit to place on my heart the people I can connect with. With that in mind, I have done some simple things to help stay in touch with the people in my community. So for example, when Heidi and I go for a walk, I would intentionally pass by a couple of houses with the people I know. I would knock on their doors, stand well back, mask if necessary and have a catch up with them. The last couple we met uh, were through my connections with Restore's uh, parent toddler group. The family were really touched that we had remembered them. The other thing that I would do is to make uh, phone calls or video calls with a record of whom I have called and when. And it's not done out of routine but out of love for my friends. During Christmas I know that uh, Duncan and Jane uh, at that time, uh, when restrictions were up to six uh, people, uh, had an open evening on their street with mulled wine and mince pies, with a schedule for their neighbours to pop by. Heidi um, baked some uh, bread the other day and um, asked me, whom can I give this to? And I gave it some thought and I said, oh, our next door neighbour. And she went and chatted to our neighbour uh, for around 15 to 20 minutes uh, outside her home. On, to on the top of my head, I can think of uh, three principles that I work uh, within um, to help me not to give up uh, on meeting people in our church and uh, people in our community like our neighbours. So the first is to be intentional. The second is to make the time. And the third is to be genuine. Um, we can all do something to encourage and pass on Jesus uh, to others our living hope.